educational seminar. We're not going to sell you anything or anything like that. We just want to make sure that we want to introduce ourselves, introduce our company, and at the same time, again, do a little educational seminar. So we can learn a little bit about the options out there, because I know y'all get bombarded with information, and we just try to provide that service to you to where you can take advantage of us. Uh, here with our company today, we have Matt Mugia. He's been licensed going on 10 years. Hello. Uh, Hello. Hello. Myself, I've been licensed going on 10 years. As well. We have Mr. Crossley, same thing as Dee, Mr. May. So you have a lot of experience here, and uh, so we'll be able to answer questions. But if, if we are not able to answer those questions, we'll find you the information that you need. Uh, like she mentioned, we represent a company called North American Senior Benefits. North American Senior Benefits are credited by the Better Business Bureau. We have been in business now going on 57 years. It's a family-owned company that started out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, but the senior division is fairly new. Our senior division has only been in business for two years. And in those two years, we have become the number one brokerage in the United States. So we don't work for a particular insurance company, okay? We're a broker. We're able pretty much to work with, you know, over 30 different insurance companies in the state of Texas. They're all A-rated companies. So pretty much what we try to do is try to save you money, okay? Uh, let me tell you a little bit about why I decided to join this company, why I decided to join this crusade, and why I believe so much in what we do, okay? Like I said, I've been licensed going on 10 years, but I've only been with this company for about 10 months now. Uh, a little bit over a year and a half ago, uh, my brother, younger brother, 25 years old, his car broke down, was walking down the street on Barris Memorial, was walking to my uncle's house. Uh, a guy was texting, came off the road, hit him, killed him on the spot. And uh, me being the oldest, I had to you know, I was the one in charge of getting everything set up, calling the funeral homes. Uh, of course, at that age, they don't have life insurance. You know, at that age, they don't believe in things like that. They're invincible. They don't think about that. You know, most people don't. Uh, so I contacted different funeral homes and uh, finally got one that I got it, uh, everything negotiated down to about $7,500 is what it was going to cost them for everything. Uh, when me and my mom went up there to kind of pick out everything, <coughs> the sale, uh, I call, I'm going to call her the salesperson because that's what she was. She was a salesperson. Uh, right away, she saw how distraught my mom was, you know, over losing her baby. And right away, she started upsetting us on everything. And I was trying to talk her out of it, you know, out of the expensive caskets, out of the expensive, all this and that. But the lady right away would interject. And her favorite line was, don't you think your baby deserved that? You know, how do you tell a mom that after losing a baby? So after everything said and done, everything ended up costing us a little bit over $12,500. Uh, no insurance, like I said, so we ended up putting some credit card and you know, we just paid it. And that's, but you know, at the same time, that's what okay. happened. We're there, you know, we're always going to step up. But uh, if it was hard not, you know, losing a loved one is very hard. But having that financial burden makes it even harder. And, 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 and you know, it's, so it's a double pain, you know, struggling, that, having that burden in your mind of how to pay for this. Uh, and that's what this company does. You know, they, they tell you things like this. Uh, Last week, I was talking to a lady. Uh, she had lost her father a little bit over a year ago. Okay, and uh, she was the only child, and she could not pay to get her father out of the hospital and pay for a funeral home. Not even pay for cremation. And you know, now in these cremation, you were only looking about about a thousand to three thousand dollars to pay on the location. But does anybody know what happens to a body that, you know, if a person cannot pay for a funeral home to do the proper procedure, so taking the body out and doing 
information because of that. I know a little, uh, like if your family or you all don't have any insurance or anything, I think Harris County pay Harris County. Harris County would take it and they handle all the information and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that distraught her. That killed her knowing that basically she couldn't even provide the proper service and the city had to take the body and they took the permission. They gave her, you know, a little bit of ashes. But she's like, you know what? I have these ashes, but I don't know if they do belong to my father or not. And that killed her, you know? We run into situations like this all the time. And that's why, you know, we want to talk about this with you because it's something that we don't like to think about. It's something that it's, Sore subject, but it's something that we do have to really take a little moment of, to, to kind of think. Uh, what, in our experience, there's, you know, all our seniors fall into four different categories, okay? Category number one, we see a lot are people that have coverage, but they're about to get canceled. They're about to have a rate increase. They have companies such as AARP, Colonial Pen. Physicians Mutual, Globe Life. Most of these companies work the same way. And you get bombarded through the mail or you get bombarded on TV with these commercials. These companies have rate increases constantly. Every five years, I don't know if you have ever experienced this, especially ARP, every five years, your rates keep increasing. And eventually it gets to the point, you can't afford them anymore. And you drop them, you lose that coverage. Uh, and, and you know what, let's say you could afford those rate increases. The worst part is, especially AARP, most people don't know this, but as soon as you turn 80 years old, they just flat out drop. They send you a really nice letter, politically correct, basically saying thank you for your money, as of today, you're no longer covered. Mm. Yes ma'am, because it is on their contract, unfortunately. So you don't get no money back? Don't get any money back, you lose everything. And here's the thing is, now you're a lot older, you probably have medications that you're taking, have some health condition, now you're uninsurable. You, it defeats the purpose of why you got that coverage at the beginning. And most of these companies work the same way. And that's what we try to do in this education. Part of the service we want to provide to you, and this is very important, it's free to you, we will do free policy evaluations. If you have a policy and you're not sure what you have, take advantage of it. We'll go, we'll review it, we'll go over everything. We'll make sure that you have the proper coverage for yourself. We make sure to answer any questions. We'll make sure there's any cancellation clause on this policy, okay? Uh, any rates increases and things like that because you want to make sure that your hard-earned money is going towards something that's going to be there for you. And I mean, like I said, there's a reason why the insurance industry is one of the richest industries in the world. Okay? Unfortunately, these policies are set up to benefit the insurance company, not the consumer. So that's why I said take advantage of us. We'll, we'll review everything. We'll make sure that, you know, your policies are what you think they are, okay? Uh, another thing is a lot of people don't, don't have their policies properly set up. Last year alone, there was over $1 billion that were not claimed by recipients, by policy owners. These are people that passed away but their beneficiaries didn't know what they had. Their beneficiaries didn't know the proper procedure to submit claims, and money went to waste. We'll help you with that. We'll look at your policies. We'll make sure that you have the correct beneficiaries on these policies. Make sure that the beneficiaries have the proper information that they're gonna need, because, I mean, we run into this situation all the time. About two weeks ago, I had a lady, I sat with her, I had to go three times with her. She had seven different policies. She only knew about two. And the reason why we found the other five, 
is because we were looking at her bank statements, payments were coming out of her account, and she just, just forgot about it. So we had to call and check on everything, get information, and it happens all the time. A lot of, a lot of times we, we kind of forget about it. You know what, take a little time. We'll help you get everything set up properly. That way, you know, again, as a senior, I know you're in a tight budget. Now, you know, you're, you're, you're in a set budget. We want to make sure that your money's going towards something that's going to be there for you, okay? That's category number one. Category number two are people that are just flat out paying too much for their coverage. If you have Reliable, Lincoln Heritage, those two companies are one of the most expensive companies in the senior market, okay? Uh, especially if you bought within the last three, four, five years, the rents are even higher than before. We can help you with that. We can help you shop around. Again, we have access to over 30 different insurance companies. So again, our goal is to try to figure out a way to save you money. So I put a little bit more money back in your pocket. We also have people that have coverage, but they feel it's not enough. Because you know everything is so expensive nowadays. So if you want to look into adding a little bit more coverage, use our expertise. You know, use our service for that as well. Uh, the third group, I mean, sorry, the fourth group of people we run into are people that don't have any coverage at all. Okay, either because of pre-existing condition or they never really took time to look into it or they think they can't afford it. We're able to cover everybody regardless of health condition. Okay, we have companies that will cover everybody regardless of health conditions. Main thing that we want to make sure you have is make it easier for you to budget things. Payments will never ever increase. Your coverage can never ever be turned down or canceled. And that's the main thing we try to cover on, on, on the scene. Uh, like I said, we're all going to be here. We're going to help you. If you have questions, I know right now I threw some information you to kind of start thinking. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody's financial things are different. So we, if you want more information from us, we're going to be here. Uh, we'll set up on a one-on-one -on -one time because a lot of people on the information that we can We don't want anybody, everybody to know everybody's business. But, uh, I mean, we're going to be here to help. Again, it's a free service. You have to take advantage of us. You know, uh, it's part of what we try to offer to the community. It, that's how North American senior families get their business. We don't want to do spend money marketing. We want to come out in the communities and do these little seminars and, and teach people and try to save them money. Uh, we're going to be passing out food for everybody. I want you to enjoy it. And uh, if y'all have questions, uh, fill out those forms that uh, Matt and, and Didi are passing out. We're going to be doing some cash drawings. We're going to be contacting people that are interested and want, want uh, more information from us, okay? But any questions? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yeah. I have a free meeting. A free meeting? And I already got my everything but the opening and closing. Opening and closing is not the opening and closing now is twelve dollars. It might be going to let it square on. Twelve hundred. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say twelve dollars. Well I need to go to that one. It's about twelve hundred. Opening closing is twelve hundred. Yes, ma'am. But now I had started with another company that I called and told them I think I'll pay about a thousand dollars and I'm trying to get they gonna give you your money. They said they're gonna give you your money. I feel like the paper is worth more government. We'll look into it. I could we could look into that for you because here's the thing, depending on the company you allow, we might be able to give you some money back. Well, if they just apply it to the old or apply it to the there's also a lot of things that are not covered the premium, so we could look at that contract for you. That way, you know.